I've uh, spent most of my life working on regional economic development and policy and transport policy and modeling. More recently, in the last 10 years, I focused very heavily on entrepreneurship and innovation as drivers of regional economic development and growth. Most specifically, it have been work in China. And China's an interesting country in that it's been trying to learn how to self-innovate for over 30 years. Uh, many billions of dollars have been spent on trying to learn how to do this. And only in the last uh, three or four years has China begun to indicate they're capable of doing self-innovation. Most of the work beforehand had been imitative in innovation. The areas where this is most focused is in Shanghai and in the Pearl River Delta. Most of my work has been in the Pearl River Delta, working with Shenzhen, Dongguan, uh, Guangzhou, Zhohai, and a couple of others, Hong Kong, for example. And I will continue to work on this for another four or five years from the looks of it because I have continuing obligations there for uh, my research in those areas. Well, the biggest challenge, I think, is that uh, when we designed the International uh, Regional Science Association, we had three super regions, uh, one in Europe, one in uh, North America, and the other in the Pacific region. We now have sections growing up in many parts of the world that were not active at that time. So we have to think about how to redesign our global organization so we have places for a number of countries, like in the Middle East, for example, and Africa, and so on, to fit into our organization. I think that's probably the largest issue. We have a number of specific ones, but that one is the biggest issue. Well, basically the areas of regional economic development and policy, transport, and then innovation, entrepreneurship. Earth is the, one of the most active, large organizations we have in regional science. So coming to these meetings is exceptional because I get to interact with many of my colleagues from over the years from different parts of the world because it's globally represented and it's very easy to catch up on a lot of things uh, in the organization when I come to this meeting. came to the URSA conference to meet my colleagues and to discuss many things with them, uh, largely because so many of them come to this conference. Um, I also come because I'm on various committees, a uh, long-range planning committee and uh, uh, the RSAI uh, council, and it's an opportunity to keep track of what's happening in the organization and to learn more about what can happen.